G'day and welcome back to Fun with Canva. In, in tutorial today, we are going to look at Canva's Frame Maker. So let's get started. So if we go over here to Apps, and in Apps you'll have a search bar here. So just type in the word Frame, and you'll come up with Frame Maker. Click on Frame Maker, and Frame Maker will be the first one here. So if we click on that, we can use a new design or use an existing design. So we're going to use a new design and I'm going to do an Instagram post square. So we'll just click on that. It'll open up the Canva canvas and it will also open up the Frame Maker uh, app. So as you can see here, it loads automatically a frame and it's a triangle. So here under the shapes, if you go to select all, you'll see a range of basic shapes. So this is pretty much all you need. And what I'll do is just take a moment to say thank you to the app designer. I had the pleasure of talking to him uh, the other day. So a great wealth of knowledge he is and thank you very much for creating this. Uh, app and look forward to seeing how you develop it to become something fantastic or even more fantastic. So in the shape section here we're just going to choose a shape so we'll choose this one and it will load it up here in the frame maker window. So what we can do is we can move this all around okay like this in and out in and out okay we can remove a point, so we can pick any of these multiples or one, and we can move, remove, uh, remove the points. So after we've done that, we can press done, and we create a completely different shape to what we started with. All right, so we're going to use this for now. We'll just create like uh, a bit of a basic frame. Okay, once we're happy with that. All we have to do is come to here and add to design. And as you can see, that will add into the design. So with this current status of the app, it doesn't allow us to add a border or anything around the uh, frame. So that's not a problem because what we can do is we can, once we've sort of filled in that, that frame with a image or whatever we might want to fill it in with. So we can come up to here and fill it in with a color, for example. We can come over here to elements and we can fill that in with a picture. And we can do the basic stuff also by double clicking on it and enlarging the photo or the image and placing it a bit more in the frame with the face or whatever we might like. So once we're happy with that, we can come over here and we've got our basic, you know, uh, Magic Studio filters and effects. So what I just want to show you with the image in the frame, if we come over here to shadows and we want to do an outline, if we click on that, it'll actually create the outline within the frame, which is what we don't want or which is what I don't want. So as you can see, I changed it fully to red there and the frame appeared around the image. So I'm just going to undo that. All right, so I'll just delete the image and I'll put the image back in there and I'll just adjust the lady over like that. So. We can do a few other things. Once we click on edit photo, we can come in. So basically what we're editing is the actual photo, as you can see here. So what we want to do, if we're happy with that, we want to put a frame, sorry, a border around the frame. What we can do is potentially come here to download. Download as transparent background, download, as PNG and that will download 
download into my folder. Okay, we'll add a new page. Come over here to uploads. Go file upload. Once that's dropped into the Canva frame app, we just open it up. And if all works well, what we should be able to do is potentially come over here, go to shadows, go to outline and add an outline around the frame or more so now the image. We can change the color, we can change the size, angle, all that sort of stuff. So it's pretty cool this Frame Maker app. It allows you to create some custom frames and then insert an image or fill it with a color and then pretty much do with it what you choose after that. So I'd just like to again thank the uh, maker of the Frame Maker app. And that's pretty much it for the tutorial for now. Hope you learned something. Enjoy and see you in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.